Introducing the next build in my series, we have my Andesite Alloy Generator. This machine has two power hookups located at the middle of the build. Total power draw for this machine is 3,556 SU. This machine is self-sufficient by using the dripstone lava mechanic. However, because the lava generation is so unpredictable, this machine can produce anywhere from 1,000 to 1,300 anisite alloy an hour. I am including this small scale one, which should be able to keep up with the base speed production most of the time. All you have to do is line up that little cog wheel that you see underneath the vertical gearbox. If you wish to supply your own lava, you merely have to break this mechanical pump as well as the pipes, or attach your lava source to the mechanical pump itself. The two cog wheels here can be exchanged for one large cog wheel, however that will increase the power draw. And of course you can do the same with the other side. I have built and tested this machine at the base run speed of 32 RPM. However, as you can see from the display, flint, gravel, and iron nuggets are being produced in excess, which means you can increase the speed of production. You will just need to supply a higher RPM and a higher SU capacity. The stockpile switch is set to turn the machine off when the item vault reaches 90% capacity or higher. The switch turns off the cobblestone generation, and once the vault has reached 5% capacity or lower, the cobblestone generation will turn back on. Here's how the machine works. Cobblestone is generated using my small model cobblestone generator. Once a stack is generated, it is fed into these two crushing wheels. The resulting gravel travels through this chute, where 8 of it is immediately pulled out and dropped into the andesite funnel below. The remaining 56 fall onto this brass funnel to be washed into flint and iron nuggets. Flint, iron, and gravel accumulate in the item vault, the brass funnels on each side of the item vault will drop one gravel at a time, which then gets fed into the basin by the andesite funnel waiting underneath it. The stair block here is simply to catch the gravel. You may use whatever kind of stair you wish, or a full block, it doesn't matter so long as the gravel can catch. Similar to the gravel, the brass funnel on the back side of the item vault will drop one flint at a time to be picked up by the andesite funnel underneath it to be put into the basin. The full size andesite funnel here will work as a catch for the flint. The basin, upon receiving gravel, flint, and lava, will produce andesite. The andesite produced by the basin then gets dropped onto this mechanical belt from this brass funnel. Andesite is collected inside of this middle basin here, and while you cannot see it with the arm of the mechanical mixer, this brass funnel is set to drop one iron nugget at a time. Iron nuggets mix with the andesite to create the andesite alloy. That andesite alloy then gets dropped out of the basin by this brass funnel, which is then collected by the andesite funnel waiting underneath it, and your andesite alloy ends up in the barrel. Before trying to start your machine, go over all of these and make sure they're correct. Each fluid tank should have one bucket of lava. Mechanical pumps should be flooded. The RSC with the clutch should be set at 170. The RSC with the vertical gearbox should be set at 8. The gantry system should be glued together with this brass funnel facing outward. The set of four funnels should be glued to the set of four trapdoors. The brass funnel on the item vault should be set to 64. The brass funnel on the chute should be set to 8. The brass funnel between the two fans should have a filter on it. Flood the leaves with water. The tops of the stockpile switch and the content observer should remain empty. If you don't want to see the inside of the item vault, you do not need the sign, the display link, or the content observer. I decided to add them simply because I like the visual. Setting your redstone link frequencies and making sure the one on the clutch is set to receive. The brass funnel on either side of the vault should be set to gravel and 1. The rotation speed controller going into the crushing wheels should be set to either positive or negative 166. The brass funnels to each side of the mechanical mixer should be set to 1 flint. The brass funnel underneath the mechanical mixer should be set to 1 iron nugget. The basins on the left and right should be set to andesite. The brass funnels underneath the basins should be set to 1 andesite. The basin in the middle should be set to andesite alloy. The brass funnel behind the vertical gearbox should be set to andesite alloy. Depending on your rotation, you might need to do some of the following. Switching the gearbox from the left to the right side. Reversing the direction of each mechanical pump. Flipping the direction of your mechanical pumps, flipping the value of your rotation speed controller for your pumps, changing the gearbox behind the crushing wheel from the left to the right, and that should be everything that you need to know.
If I've left anything out, or if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video. And if you haven't already, I would love if you would subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.